hi guys welcome back to the channel Easter cooking nurse and in this video i'm sharing how i made my easter cake our easter cake i'm baking with my husband you won't be seeing him but yeah if you follow me on instagram you've already seen the photos or maybe on facebook but if you don't follow me please go there and follow me the cooking nurse give this video a thumbs up if you like it leave me a comment and please please subscribe yeah subscribe turn your notification bell on so that you don't miss any of my new uploads in the future so let's get into it so i have i'm gonna be using a mixer right now my plan was actually to do a vanilla cake but because months came through we decided to twist things up so you're gonna be saying okay i just hope you stick around until the end of the video and maybe you could learn a trick one or two so in my mixer i'm going to be using one and a half cups of butter uh, this is margarine you can use the real butter for the best results but yeah we're keeping it low budget but anyway adding one and a half cups of sugar i'm using the regular sugar you can use brown sugar or any sugar that you want and i'm going to beat this on speed on like the high speed until it's white and fluffy like you think it's turning so what we do we keep on scraping the sides using a spatula or a spoon or a cooking stick whatever you're using to you know make sure your margarine and sugar mixture is together because my mixer is like the small one and it doesn't go in the extreme sides of a bowl so i just have to keep on doing it manually and then let it continue the mixing part and while while that is going i'm going to go on and measure my dry ingredients i used five and a half cups of like the baking cups measuring cups of my papa's flour and then i used one and a half tablespoons of baking powder yeah chapamandasi this is a living is just going to help the cake raise and if you have self-raising flour maybe you would not need to add this and for this particular cake that i'm baking it's a must sieve or else you'll have a dense cake that is not airy so when you sieve the flour traps in some air and once you're like baking it's easier for the cake to rise and once it's easier for the cake to rise and then it will be loose it's not so sticky it doesn't stick in your mouth so it's a nice cake so make sure to sieve your dry ingredients for this particular way of making the cake the vanilla cake and also it helps you eliminate these these impurities because you never know now our butter was already going butter and sugar and man's was already like scraping the side so that's why it was all pale so i'll add in i'm using six eggs and the same thing like i was doing before keep on scraping the side so that everything in that bowl is mixed evenly so keep on adding eggs one at a time until you have um a clear or smooth butter yeah like that like that Add one egg, beat it until it's good, scrape the sides and everything is mixed. Add in another egg. It's a bit time consuming, but it's worth it. Uh, the longer you, you stay around here and, you know, have a smooth butter, the better cake you'll have. So I'm going to add in my flavor. I'm using the vanilla flavor like I'd planned, but then I also have the pineapple that is really strong and so sweet. So... When we opened it, someone said, mm -hmm, we need to add this one. So I also added in about a teaspoon of pineapple flavor. So like you can see, everything is dissolved. There's no more uh, sight of sugar, crystals, and we're going to transfer everything into a bigger pan. So I'd already transferred to a bowl, the mixing bowl, the small box bowl that I usually use. It was so small, this is a big cake, and I had to transfer it again into a saucepan that is a bit big. So make sure you scrape everything out because remember we measured everything. So if you don't, that means you'll have something less. So scrape it clean and have all your butter, eggs, and sugar mixture in one in one container and then add in your flour in mixtures alternating with milk skimmed milk or i just used the um, regular milk the long life one so yeah i'm gonna be mixing here i would have used the hand mixer but 
I like to suffer and I wanted to show my man since he was there that I can actually do this without the help of a mixer. Mm -hmm. But please do whatever is easier. So I'm using that classic milk, one cup, <laughs> that was a joke, one cup and then I'll just keep on mixing using my spatula. You can use a cooking stick if you don't have any of these things. It may take long, but finally you'll have the right results. Just be patient with this particular type of baking or cake. So I would say this is like a nameless cake, but in the meantime, let's call it a vanilla cake, vanilla pineapple cake, whatever, because in the coming minutes or few seconds, it's going to change again. But anyways, keep mixing your butter and alternating with milk. Like I told you in my previous video, if you've watched it where I was making the chocolate cake, always make sure flour goes in last. Whatever the case, make sure flour goes in last because it then eliminates the other weird texture that the liquids give you. Which wouldn't be a problem, but maybe, maybe it could alter your, you know, your final product so i decided i actually learned baking from my friend martha uh if you're from barra you've you've seen the city oven somewhere in the city she really teaches and bakes great cakes so it's where i learned baking from and i am so proud that i can actually finally have to bake my own cakes at the comfort of my homes and they come out so perfect the everyone's like oh my god i wish it was easter every day so anyway i'm sharing with you these videos and i hope they be helpful if you're a beginner yeah but if you can afford classes please go on and take classes it's worth it mm -hmm. it's worth it sometimes you don't even have money to buy a cake but you make one at home and the family is like wow wow so anyway we are done mixing our butter and now you're going to transfer it to the baking tray. But first, I'm adding in fruits. I told you it's going to change anytime. It's not a fruit cake, but yes. So I rubbed them in flour so that they don't sink down. These are dry raisins. They are black raisins. And my son loves them really so much. So I just decided, let me just put them since they are there. Yeah. So I have my buttered and flat baking pan. Just make sure you like smear butter around it and then put some flour and then keep tapping down until all the butter is coated and then add in your cake butter tap below to eliminate all the air and then into the oven you go this baked for about uh 45 to 50 minutes and it just came out perfect it was overnight i baked this on good friday and i was supposed to decorate it or like ice it the next morning so i covered it in a cavera or a polythene bag so that it doesn't you know evaporate so now i've already cut off the top and then i divided it into two i'll be using this butter cream that i made out of icing sugar and butter you just put it on a speed mixer and mix everything until it's this texture. Yeah, it's not so hard to make buttercream. And voila, our cake is ready. I don't know how to decorate cake yet, though I bake great cakes, but I don't know how to decorate yet. So I decided to stay with the nude look and, you know, just put in some fruits. It's a confusing fruit cake that is also vanilla cake that is also fresh and just yummy. The perfect yummy. Look at that. Look at that guys. So I hope this video was helpful really and I hope you give me a subscribe. Just just hit the button. It's really free and I hope to see you soon in my next video. Bye.